This time I found a really interesting add-on. It's by Jose Conseco and he made it uh, he made an add-on for the texture synthesis. There's quite a long video about this, about this technology, what you can do with it. Uh, here are a few examples. You can have one picture, makes variations of it. Then you can also input multiple the textures and then it makes a variations on that. Here you have a guided system. Then you have two masks and then that defines the output of very interesting is here that you have this is then the input and then you have two masks from two and then mix this out of the original another example style transfer that needs two inputs in this case we have a face or we have a structure like this 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 or this and then you can get an effect like that. Another one is the inpaint. So I think that, uh, if for example, you have a beach and you want to remove a person, I think that is then possible, then it fills it in. Then we can uh, tile textures. So this seems to be the original. Then we can also combine texture synthesis. All right, in this video, I discuss a few of these uh, things and also installation of this uh, add-on and I give a few examples. Let's take a look at the first option. That's a single example genera uh, generation. So it is not um, seamless, but it makes a variation on a picture. For example, like this. Let's uh, take a look how that works in Blender. Let's close this to get some memory free so yeah I'm I, I want I'm curious what happens with this one so uh, let's see if this picture then I save it in my folder where I have all of my uh, images uh, trees then we open the image editor we refresh this one, select the trees. Uh, this time we don't click, we disable tiling. And then we give this a name. That is um, trees on iron texture synthesis. Let's take a look at the, I always forget the name. System console, system console. We see here the progress. And let's check what happens in this case. So it's finished, it seems. <laughs> wow, whoa. <laughs> so this is uh, pretty weird. So this probably not a good idea. So you need something, I think, more abstract. Now I quickly try another one and let's see what that does. So I go back here. Mm. Let's try this one. <laughs> let's see what happens with that. So this uh, landscape. You go to Blender, open the image editor, click on refresh and landscape. Hmm. 
And let's take a look what happened here. So we have landscape. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, I think it's uh, looking for um, suitable inputs. Let's take a look at the option to tile a texture. Here's list as number six. Uh, we go to Blender. And then we open an image editor. Then on top we click for simple generate. Then we navigate to the folder where we have our textures. Uh, that's then this one. We accept. Uh, can be that you need to refresh if you have a new uh, picture. So we choose here the chestnuts. And under settings, we enable tiling. And here are several settings for the algorithm. And for this, you can specify the dimension. You have also some uh, presets like that. So, and you can specify here the output. So we select uh, a folder. These are my outputs. I accept it. Then I give it a name. Uh, let's say chestnut. And then I run texture synthesis. We can take a look at the um, how do you call that? That is the system console. And then we see the progress. It depends on the settings, how long it takes. And then now it's finished. We are going to... And now we are going to out. Then we see here our output. Mm. Yeah, we got now this effect. Uh, let's see how that works out in Blender if we apply it to an object. So we have now this one, we change that into chestnuts. Uh, actually, not too bad. Yeah, so you might uh, need to tweak some settings over here to get even better results. There are ways to reduce tiring effects, like what you see here. For example, you can distort the UV before and after the mapping. You can also make variations on specific parameters. And then you get an effect like this. So this was before applying these effects here. This one was after applying the effects. So the tiling is uh, less. Um, so we go back to the viewport here. Then I'm going to enable uh, these nodes. And we see now that the tiling is less uh, obvious. Um, these nodes are available in the material nodes add-on. So if you are interested in that, you can take a look over there. Let's take a look now at multiple example generation. What I did was that I downloaded some uh, three images from of clouds and let's put that in a blender so I refresh I suppose no I check another folder so this is the folder accept the folder and I click on multi generate here then I think I have to add the image 
here, select this one, add it there, select that one, add it. I can open it in uh, the image editor, but that's no need. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to choose for tiling. Tiling, I uh, switch it off. I set the inner output dimension to the original. Then I click on select multiple clouds. Then I run texture synthesis. Let's take a look at the system console. It's finished 100%. Let's go to texture synthesis output and we had multiple clouds here. All right, <laughs> it looks very abstract, but it could be useful. I go uh, quickly to try a few other parameters. So I uh, let's say another seed. I don't have no idea what is this. And let's see. Um, no idea what it means, but. So we have here another one. So that could be pretty interesting. And we can also make it um, seamless. Let's try that one. Um, let's change a little bit the settings here. So we got something different. That's finished. Take a look here. Cloud two. Alright, I think we need some more experimenting with settings. Let's take a look at style transfer. For that you need two inputs. This is then number one, a face in this case. And we have here some structures. And for example this one combined with the face, then we see his face and this structure. For example here as well. So then we open Blender, we open the image editor and on the top texture synthesis we click on style transfer. Then if we open this we can see better. So we have a, a guide that is then uh, the, the face or something else. Let's try this face, and then I want to combine it with coffee beans. Oh, I just accept the folder and then select coffee beans here. Do we need tiling? No. So we have that. That's correct. Then we have this, give it a name, uh, style transfer one, and run this. Let's take a look here. 
So that's done. Let's check what happened. All right. Let's talk about the installation of this. It's a little bit uh, tricky, but you need uh, two things. One is the add-on by USA Conseco. Um, and you can just click on download zip and you can install this zip file directly in Blender. It's for Blender 2.8. I always check the this uh, file in it and then you can see that it is for Blender 2.8. Then you need also the texture synthesis uh, software. So if you open this in another tab, then you will see this. Embark Studios Texture Synthesis. And it's a little bit tricky how you install that. So I think you have to scroll down all the way. And then there was a link here, download the binary. So you open that in a new tab. And then depends on if you have Apple, PC or Linux. In my case, I have uh, Windows. So I choose for this one. I'm not sure what this is, I think is to check if the download uh, went uh, well. If you have that on your PC, you need to unpack it two times. Uh, and you need a program called 7-zip, or maybe another one. because Windows doesn't recognize this, I believe. So you go to this one, 7-zip, and then you can extract these files. So you extract this file. If you extract it, you get another um, another folder that need, needs to be unpacked. You can also do that with um, uh, seven, seven zip. What's the name? Seven zip. Then in Blender, you go to the preferences, texture, texture. Then you give here uh, the um, the location of the texture synthesis X. So we click on that. And I see I have here texture synthesis accept. And save preferences, refresh. And then you go to the image editor. Oh, go to the image editor like this. No, <laughs> like this one. Then you see it on top here. You have the several options simple generate, multi guide synthesis style transfer and paint. So we discussed in this video simple generate, multi-generate and style transfer. I had no time yet to look at the other ones but probably you can find out how they work on this page.